And the last of the uh, six races I'm bringing you here at Weatherby is the two mile four furlong ground zero maiden hurdle race here at Weatherby. It's been a wonderful day of racing so far. Hope you've enjoyed it. We've got Brilliant Melody, Alex Cherry, Forrest Ting, Davy Ladd, Pedro Aguirre, Cherda, D. Thompson, The Red Baron, who fell on debut for Josh Sutherland, Baltrap Definition for Red Eyes, Beauty Queen Martin Leadham, Guilty Perfect for David Hooley, McLaren Paul Rhodes, Romney Saisons, Ryan Costello, She's Far Ted Pontypool Racing, and then last but not least, we've got the jolly Zepp Novell for Jim Murray, who was second in week one. Kind of go one better today. The starter lets them go. And the tapes are up for this final race here at Weatherby. Rain coming down now. And with the early leader's brilliant melody. And that one is in the lead by a couple of lengths from She's Far Ted. The Red Baron on the rail. The trainer really disappointed that that one managed to fall over the smaller obstacles in week one. All eyes will be on its jumping here. Romney Saisons is one that moves forward after a good jump there at the first flight towards the rear of the field at the moment we've got guilty perfect and ball trap definition and up front brilliant melody was almost joined there by the red baron but the jockey wants to sit more patiently and then just riding off the pace we lost one there beauty queen unseated the rider got it all wrong and the jockey had a little chance of staying on board so as they go over the next all of them navigate that one safely. You can see the loose horse of Beauty Queen towards the rear of the field is just going to continue galloping in behind those. But given that it's the back marker, it'll be unlikely that it'll cause any difficulties for the other horses here. So it's brilliant melody. Up front, the black horse by about four to five lengths from the grey. Pedro Aguirre Cheddar, the red baron, hugging the rail. Just on the outside of that one is She's Far Ted. Widest of all is the favourite there. You can see in the black silts with the red sleeves and red hat for Jim Murray. And just in, just in behind that one is another black horse, McLaren, for Paul Rhodes. The jockey on Romney Seasons is just pushing along, as is the one on Baltrap Definition. That one racing for the Red Eyes Yard. Sean Uller, the trainer, looking for his first winner over the sticks here. So it's brilliant melody open up in a huge gap already. It's probably about 10 lengths there from the leader to the chasing pack which is still being headed by Pedro Aguirre Cherda and the favourite Zepp Novell the black and red silks from the, the red baron Joshua Sutherland's horse furthest away over towards the running rail as they come over that next flight of hurdles and the gap of 10 lengths is significantly shortened now to only a couple of lengths for Zepp Novell and that one's travelling really well and I wouldn't say there are any issues with the front runner it's just maybe taking the pedal, uh, foot off the pedal a little bit but still travelling powerfully up front is brilliant melody uh, it's still got a couple of lengths advantage over Zepp Novell McLaren's inching closer and is closer than ever before in third over on the rail we've got She's Far Ted going up past Pedro Aguirre Cherda in behind those we've got the Red Baron and Forrest Ting Guilty Perfect is right on the rail and is uh, in behind uh, quite a lot of horses and isn't going to have much racing room unless things uh, open up for that one and you can see the jockey is just angling out just looking to see whether there's going to be a bit of a gap and some daylight in front of it but as we come to the next flight brilliant melody jumps much better than she's far ted who got far too high over that one uh, and that allowed mclaren to move up alongside it briefly but she's part far ted continues to travel quite nicely and is moving up alongside brilliant melody now as we come towards the six and a half furlong uh, left to go in the race as they jump the next flight she's far ted now has the lead and the advantage over brilliant Brilliant melody. Zepp Novell still travelling nicely enough, and you can see the gaps did open up for Guilty Perfect for David Hooley, and that one's now moved into third. The Red Baron is now moving up strongly on the outside as well, so that one's moved way off the rail and has got total daylight in front of it. As we're now coming into the final five furlongs, it's Brilliant Melody and She's Far Ted turning left handed and side by side. Guilty Perfect travelling nicely there in third place for D. Hooley. McLaren moving forward for Paul Rhodes. If you, as you look towards the rear of the field, it, you find it hard to see Bal trap definition and uh, Romney Saisons getting involved here but there's still three furlongs left to travel brilliant melody 
McLaren now moving into the lead. She's for Ted still being punched along by the jockey and is still involved here. Is neck and neck with McLaren. Brilliant Melody, the long-time lead, has totally given way now and will need to find a second win. The favourite, Zepp Novell's getting going now and is about to stay on past Brilliant Melody into third. But there's only one and a half furlongs left to go. Can anything get up alongside these leaders? She's for Ted regaining the advantage over McLaren. Zepp Novell moving forward. I can't see anything else staying on into this race. So it's between these three as they go over the final flight. She's for Ted's moved on and opened up a lead. And it's going to be hard to rein that one back in. Zepp Novell's trying but might have to settle for second again. Look over the shoulder from She's for Ted and realises it's put this race to bed. She's for Ted wins it. She's for Ted wins it. Zepp Novell runner up in week one runner up again in week two they had no answers when she's for ted kicked on and mclaren managed to hold on to third place for paul rhodes forest ting did stay on uh from uh, for davy lad right from the back but it left itself far too much to do pedro aguire cheddar uh finishes up in fifth and that completes the prize money here for the ground zero maiden but it's a win for she's for ted